okay, but people get apathic yeah. of, of watching uh, again and again. I never see serious again because right. I got uh, I, I I get caught in, up 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 in them, and I want to see all the sixteen programs at once. Right, like everybody else. So yeah, you know. but and, yeah, no, I was just. Cliffhangers all mm -hmm. over, you know. So you, uh, I don't have time to. I, I don't want to use time on it. Yeah. I will say that I enjoy Netflix and HBO and all the other stuff because what I do is I wait for the series to end, and then I can literally, if I want, over like a one week period, just watch it all, and I'm done. And I like that much better than. Yeah. Watching it on a Saturday, Sunday, or whatever, yeah, and then I have to yeah, go back yeah. to following Saturday. I feel like I don't care. I'm not that. I'm not that interested in what you're doing. So it's like yeah. all these, the, all the little mini series that come out. I'm like, okay, I can wait. You know, I'm not missing yeah. anything. Or I'll watch one yeah. season and when it's over, and I can watch the next season or the next. Or I literally just wait until the whole thing is done, and I can watch it all in one thing. I'm like, oh, I get it. I like that better. Yeah. It's uh, it's up to people, but but I think yeah. far far too many people these days are watching too much telly. Yeah. Uh, I one way that. one way communication, and you uh, you you mix uh, you, you're mixing um, um, real things and, and fiction. Yeah, young no, young people are young people are. Yeah. I mean, listen, I don't, at night, if I have nothing to do and I'm done reading, I'll watch, I'll watch whatever. That's how I found that article from the idiot from BuzzFeed. who's like, oh, these movies haven't stood the test of time. Who cares? It's a movie. <laughs> it's a fantasy. It's your escape. I mean, and the one movie he didn't have in out of his 21 movies that are terrible, like the, he had the blind side in and he had Zohan and he had all these movies in, is he didn't have Mel Brooks's Blazing Saddles. Now, maybe Blazing Blazing Saddles was written by yeah. Mel Brooks and Richard Pryor. And in uh, Blazing Saddles, they used the N-word like every other sentence. And yeah. granted, it was still wrong when the movie came out. But the movie, to its, te its testament, stands the test of time. Blazing Saddles is a very funny satire. Um, yeah. And so all these people are like, oh, we have to take these. No, we don't. And, you know, we talked about this the other day on another show. I was talking about like um, Disney's Song of the South. Like yeah. zippity doo da, zippity all that. Mm. You can't show that today. People are like, "Oh my God, that's so rich." No, it's not. That's part of our culture and our history. And if you don't know culture and history, you can't um, push forward um, humanity. So, what are we going to put our head in the sand? You know, but, and it's uh, like it's ridiculous. I, I see three minutes have gone. I've gone. I have to remind you. We are. We are. You have to play the. Lovely. I, I know. I, I whenever you're, I was just like, I figured we talk a little bit while we play it. Now we'll play it. <laughs> this is Two O F Entertainment. Now we're here officially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so officially, so those, three minute, those three minutes give everybody a good idea of what we're going to talk about today. And if they don't want to watch it, they can leave. So there you yeah, go. yeah. They, they can watch an old... Um, they can go hard, watch hard, the hard, of Gilligan's hard, Island. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They can go see Gilligan. But yeah, so I was fascinated by these people and their wokeness. And it's like, enough is enough with this woke bullshit. Like, I'm, I'm yeah. tired of it. It's like, if you're not brought up properly, then that's a problem. Like, I know... Yeah. That you don't scream, you know, um, movie in a crowded firehouse. That's how you're brought up. You know these things, right? It's very cut and dry. So yeah. if you're brought up and you're not taught manners because your parents are ignorant and they put the iPad in front of you, that's not my problem. And this yeah. wokeness and political crap, enough with that. It's like, you know, as a human being, what is acceptable and not acceptable to say. Yeah. I don't need some idiot in BuzzFeed writing an article telling me that these 21 movies don't stand the test of time. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, 
that's your opinion. In my opinion, you're wrong. And you're basically a pussy. Because if you think like Zohan, the Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler movie, does it's, it's a funny movie. It's about yeah. racial tension. We still have racial yeah. tension today. You know, mm. you did Chuck and Larry, where Adam Sandler and another guy get married to fake the New York fighter. It's a funny movie. He's like, oh, mm. it's homophobic. No, it's not making fun of the LGBTQ. If you if no. you really pay attention, it's embracing it. It's saying like, what do you? What is the problem? Like you know, we could. Why can't we all be? So every point that he made or she made or whoever wrote it, the dumbest points. Like the everything negative, anger management. I forgot what they said about that. I'm like hysterical movie. It's just but but all these Steve, movies. Yeah. Stephen, it's it's not only movies. It's also music. Um, it, it, music's a whole nother thing. Yeah, but they. Uh, People are saying, uh, I, I was uh, at the party this uh, weekend, and uh, right. uh, a famous uh, impresario uh, is somewhere there. Uh, you know, An impresario? Said, Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, he, well. he, his, his son was there. You know, yeah, and, and he, he, um, he, were, he, were, he were together with all the uh, Norwegian and American and uh, UK uh, right bands you know play, playing in norway and, and stuff yeah. like that so and and then he said something similar like you uh, that for example uh 10 cc is mm -hmm. is you know the 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 band for, for, for example 10 cc they still have uh concerts and and, and okay. they have a lot of people coming but then a guy tell him it's wrong they have to stop. Why? Because they run out of time. The, it, it, it's not that music that is going to be played now. It's kind of a resemblance because of um, the old time. Yeah, but yeah, but come on. They have been a rock and roll group in yeah. 163 years. Why right. stop now? Well, it'd be like telling the Rolling Stones don't tour anymore. Your music's yeah. not relevant. Yes, it is. Same with the Beatles. If they were all alive, I'm sure they would be touring. And they got along. Mm. They'd all be touring. Their music isn't really relative, but it's nice music. It's sort of like KC and the Sunshine Band was big in yeah. the 70s with uh, whatever. <laughs> and he's still touring. You know, and, and so I don't get these people, the, the, the woke police and these political correctness no. police. You know what? Like, stick your head back in the sand and shut up. And like, yeah. like, like the BuzzFeed article... My buddy sent it to me and I chuckled when I read it. And I'm just like, how stupid, you know, because you're what, 20 something, maybe 30 something. You're, oh, you were offended, buddy. Go watch Gone with the Wind. You want to be offended? Yeah. You want to, I mean, like you can go back to the movies of the 20s and 30s. If you want to be no, offended, no, no. go be offended there. But I mean, yeah. movies are a, a time capsule, for lack of a better word. Yeah, at, yeah, uh, yeah. Time of that period if you will, which sounds very stupid and redundant. But yeah. any movie I make, just say in 2024 to 2030, whatever I put in it, you know, pizza is a bad word and whatever, blah, blah, blah. A hundred yeah. years from now, when someone watches it, they're going to be like, oh, that's a, I'm, look at that. Oh, it's terrible. Or they're going to be like, that was silly. So, you know, a hundred, 200 years from now, someone's going to watch any one of the 21 movies they put up, Blazing Saddles or any of these movies or any of like Alfred Hitchcock movies. And you're going to either say yeah, those yeah, are terrible, yeah, yeah. or they're going to be like, those are pretty funny. Like, you know, you yeah. have to put it in the context for what it is. Of course, but and, it's, and, it's, it's, it's the same all over. Yeah. For, for example, I, I was in a big uh, uh, fight almost because I, I, I got pissed. Uh, not often I do do that. Right. Um, usually go to the toilet when I'm pissed, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, the, there was a guy, uh, and there was more than one guy. It, it was uh, regarding um, the old artists in Norway. They found out by AI or whatever that right. they had shares in in companies, slave slavery companies, like the Dutch West and, Indies and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And okay. we and we and we should avoid them. We should cut down the, um, you know, in 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 in, in the cities. Just uh, move them away and forget them. Are yeah. you fucking crazy? 
Yeah. Should we forget them? It it was usual then. It, it, it was mm -hmm. common. It's no different. And it's no different that. And here's what people forget. I had this dialogue with a, a, a few years ago with somebody talking about slavery. And they were talking about horrible. And it is. It's a horrible thing that people sell people. And it's still cool. don't get, right? They're still human trafficking. But what I thought was interesting is that when you break it down to what when the Dutch West Indies Company would go to Africa to buy people, they weren't buying the people from white people. They were buying them from the yeah. chiefs of the African, if you will, nations and tribes that yeah. conquered yeah. another African tribe or nation. And so when they're saying, oh, it's what, I don't want, we were just, the, for the Dutch West Indies Company, they were just making a profit. And they just figured out, well, if you're going to, instead of killing them, we'll just give you whatever you need. And you just yeah. give us the people you beat up and conquer. So mm -hmm. when, when they go through all of it, I'm like, the problem is, is that nobody knows history. So all of no. a sudden, yeah, yeah, it's like, and and once again, if you're going to send nasty letters and emails and comments, send it to David because I won't read them. Maybe we'll David, but send it to David. He's got nothing to do. Um, but if but people don't understand, David's history, on the road again. Right, right. But if 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 you don't understand history and understand that it yeah. wasn't the white man who did it, it was the black guys conquering another black tribe that gave it yeah. to the white guys. Cause the white guys were there and they're probably like, and I'm, and, and no one really knows, right? I would love to read a book about yeah. this part of slavery, but nobody, yeah. and no one's around that took notes like, Oh, Oh, Joe said this, yeah, yeah, it yeah, said yeah, that, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and I'm going to use a guy from roots. Cause I don't know any official black names, but in Kunta Kinte, they said that, Oh, okay. You know, we don't have like a, a dialogue of the chief seeing the big boat and some white guys getting yeah. off and going, you want these people? And the white guy's yeah. going, that's terrible. It's slavery. And then all of a sudden, someone's like, you know, people yeah. will pay for them. Ooh, really? Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? So <laughs> we don't know how that got. We, we know, but we don't know. But here's what's really funny. Now let's go back 5,000 years to Egypt. Egypt had slavery. Yeah. Go back yeah. to Mesopotamia and, yeah, and Samaria. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, everybody had them. Even the Indians in America, or I'm sorry, the Native yeah. American people, whatever, yeah. with, whatever, you, whatever you are this week. But they had slaves from captured tribes. Genghis Khan, yeah. Attila yeah. the Hun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all I, had I, I, them. And not to speak about or to speak about the Vikings, because they right. they uh, collected them. They, they were good seafarers, as you know. Yeah. And they they collected them all over, and they slept slept in the farm with the uh, with the animals. Yeah. Poor 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 guys. I'm not saying that's correct. But it's it is politically correct because it happened, right? It's 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 history, and it's not. It, it was, I wouldn't history. want it. To, I wouldn't want it to be today. I wouldn't want to say you know. No, no, no. All no, that no. slavery stuff that you know Lincoln took care of in 1863. Let's just eh, let's go back to it. No, mm. it's all that stuff that was human history, and the problem yeah. is is that when they go, oh, we can't put that in a movie, and we can't do. Yes, you yeah. do, because if you don't know it, because you're not teaching kids in anything at school, right? Yeah. You're teaching them, you're teaching yeah. them the don't do this and don't why don't you actually teach them like history and civics and all this other crap when we went to school and learned, but they don't teach them anything. So at least if yeah. they see it in a movie and you know, they can ask a question. I remember when I was at university, some girl literally asked us one night at dinner, she saw Wings of War. It was on ABC, big, big, you know, like mini series about World War II. Hmm. And she said, and I quote, Winston Churchill is a fascinating fictional character. And we all looked fictional. at her and we, uh, fictional. And I said, I said, oh, you mean nonfiction? And she goes, well, no, he's not real. And I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> okay, I'm going to line up 10 of your friends, blow in your ear and you're a wind tunnel. So that's my point. If the kids don't know history, that is a problem. And that's yeah. why. Movies like Blazing Saddles, it's a satire on how it was. And there were people that didn't approve of it. Yeah. And they were trying yeah. to change it. So when they when people go, these are terrible movies, no, they're not. That's a period piece of the time. That's how people spoke. That's what people did. That is it. Like if you, I'm sure there's many more movies. There's I'm sure yeah, there's yeah, worse I, movies than what he I, put. I, 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 uh, I heard something about you know Tom Hanks, uh, the, yeah. the movie where where he was uh, 
playing uh, uh, a bit. Uh, ah, come on, I don't remember the movie. Or a stunt? Yeah, yeah. Okay. People are also complaining because using uh, disabled mm -hmm. for fun. But come on, it's. I I read an article. I think. I, I think I read an article. I think I, I want to say I read this and I can't remember where and I don't want to be like crazy grandpa making things up. So mm. if someone wants to fact check it, but fact check it. I thought I read an article that said read that Tom Hanks said that he wouldn't do Forrest Gump today. Uh, of because course. Of what's going on. Right. Because of all the political. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> why not? That was a phenomenal movie. It would, yeah. it, it brought, there's a lot of points in that movie. It's sort of like Rain Man with Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise. Yeah. Um, yeah now I haven't yeah. read anything about those two guys saying anything, but I'm thinking, no. but the movie, all these movies, if you watch it f for the entertainment value, they're very good. But if you watch yeah. it for the undertone message about you you think, right. You're learning. Yeah. You know, like now, if you take, if you take Deadpool three, Wolverine and Deadpool, I learned to say the F word 117 times. Um, and mm. it's just fun entertainment. It's mindless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like it. And I'm okay with that yeah. because I don't care. It's just mindless yeah. entertainment. Now, in 10 years, I will bet. Sorry, Ryan. Someone's going to come out and go, this is the worst thing in the world. How could have they made these movies? It's like because it's yeah. called entertainment. It's like when you go see a comedian, like a Jimmy Carr. And Jimmy Carr says horrible things, and I love it. Like, I watch his special. I love Jimmy Carr's, like Ricky Gervais. Love them both. But it's called entertainment. It's not, yeah. it's not a political history. It's not whatever. It's entertainment. Yeah. And you pay to go there. Or if, you're yeah. on, if you watch them on Netflix or wherever, you yeah. are choosing to watch it. So you yeah. should not complain. Just like yeah. this guy from BuzzFeed who talked about these 21 movies. Well, then, mm. pussy boy. Yeah. Don't watch them, and nobody yeah, cares but... about your opinion, and that's it. <laughs> I mean, let's be frank. That's good. Um, that's good. Let, let, let's be um, um, let's be frank and say that uh, this this guy must have other things to to spend his uh, evenings or nights with. I'm, I'm betting no. I bet you they. I bet you they do the same thing we do to come up with a topic. They go to YouTube or they search the internet yeah. for what's trending and mm. horrible movies or actors that's whatever, and then it's what they do. I just like yeah. for the folks that are watching or listening. We just are like we'll talk about wokeness today. We didn't look. We didn't look for trouble. We don't care. Let's show we do it for us. It's for the old guys' event. But it's I'm fascinated by the stupidity of things in general, even like the Financial Times sometimes, or The Economist, mm. or New York Times, or The Wall Street Journal, they start to have really stupid articles lately. And I'm thinking mm. to myself, you're, a, you're at one point, you were pristine, <clears throat> excuse me, financial papers. And now you have articles, and I'm like, what the, what happened? Yeah. I mean, I understand you have to dumb it down because there's 8 billion stupid people, but the people that actually have IQ points that actually want to read something, why don't you do that? So I think that's part of the issue um, that we have. And now we're going to let the French girl in. And we're going to talk about wokeness. So that's going to be interesting because you know how the yeah. French are. They're not woke. Uh, she's uh, on the way? No. no. Yeah, she's right there. Not, There's not the French oh, Emma, Emma, Emma. Hello. Okay. We're, ah. talking about, we're talking about wokeness in the movies right now. Ah, yes. Uh, sorry, my camera is not... Uh, That's very... all right. Did you, ah. we're, and, the show's, and, and we're recording, so the show's going on, so no one cares about your yeah. camera. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> so but, but anyway, I think what's going to have to happen at some point is parents are going to have to be parents. I think they're going to have yeah. to teach their kids. And, and, and I also think that we have to teach people history. And if that's through a movie, yeah. I'm okay with that. But, you know, you can't have yeah. people complain about every time a movie comes out. So, Emma said, they're having an earthquake in France. So, yes. Emma is now an Amazon. Yeah. There you go. Earthquake. <laughs> So what's your take on wokeness, Emma? Do you guys have wokeness in France? 
political correctness, uh, you're, you're French. You guys have nothing. But anyway, when you're not striking <laughs> and you're like you're hosting a poor Olympics um, and losing wars, what do you guys do in France? <laughs> What we're doing about what? Sorry, I, I take the. <laughs> uh, oh, the okay. We were talking about we're talking about political correctness and like woke wokeism. There was a, ah, we were talking about an yeah. article in BuzzFeed that somebody said um, that he thought these twenty one movies don't stand the test of time, and we were discussing that like really because for when they came out, they're perfect, and it's sort of a time capsule of history. So, what's the French take on it? Or the French don't really care as long as they have wine and baguettes, or how's that go over there? <laughs> Yes, uh, French will have a, oh, <laughs> yo, uh, French uh, will have a bottle of wine, a beer uh, in their capsule. They, and, they don't care. Uh, the French, don't, the only thing they care about is their 17-week holiday. So and the French snails. Just want 17, snails. And snails, you, you, yes. They want 17 you, you, weeks you off a year and snails. All, all, all day long. Breakfast. Yeah. Dinner um, um I, can I tell I like escargot though. Hey, I've got a question for you. If I marry two midget girls, is that big of me? Anyway, um I just thought I would ask. Let's just see if that wow. That is, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, it's big of me, I thought. So yeah, here you go. So yeah. boom boom. I'm here till Thursday, tip your weight staff. Um, so yeah, so that's where we were. We were just talking about parenting, wokeness, and history. Yeah. And political correctness. Why should everybody, uh, I think that the government, uh, the government or, or the big, uh, the big brother, you know, whoever the big brother is, he's uh, more than one or she, you know, I, I think we, we are, we are much more um, tested, you know, if, if the God forbid will be uh, a third uh, world war. I don't think it will be will be with with bombs and and and, and the old. Uh, well, of course, maybe uh, uh, a certain bombs, but but not not like like this. I I, I think it would be with communication and uh, fake news and and on all this will be much more affected. Propaganda. Propaganda. Yes, but many people call fake news uh, stuff they don't want to hear. Uh, sometimes, for for some of the things, uh, it's real news, it's real stuff. But as it is not establishment, they call it fake news. And uh, I I think we have to to think about it and uh, have our our own. Um, Uh, on mind on it to to uh, to think about it and search for the truth. Absolutely, I, I agree with that. I, so we yeah. we have good news and bad news because everybody this is the ad hoc. Everybody must think this is the art show. So there's an artist waiting to come on, but she's like an hour early. So we can actually bring her on if she wants to join this dialogue and then show yeah. her art. It's not going to be the art show. It's just going to be during ad hoc. So yeah, it's yeah. your it's your call. It's your guy's show. If you want to bring her on, we can bring her on, and we can switch the topic to art. It it's up to you, Emma. Maybe we shouldn't scare her to death with. Uh, oh, let's scare her. her! Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> She's from France. It'll be fun. Yeah. We have to to wait a little bit about uh, Oriane because she's not ready yet. I sent her. Yes, uh, she is. She's right there. She's, oh, right, she's there. right there. Oh, okay, it's perfect. She's here. Ah, it's yeah. perfect. So for everybody that was watching ad hoc. These two nice people, Emma and Morton, have another show called uh, Hearts and Arts. But because we are doing ad hoc and all these people are jumping into ad hoc, arts and, Hearts and Arts is going to kind of just come into the middle of this. So mm. for all you people that are watching, we're talking about political correctness and whatnot. Um, you're going to see a few little quick changes um, because of that. So we're going to go from one show into another show. So this is going to be the ad hoc Arts and Hearts show. So yeah, there you go. So there you go. So we started the show with political correctness. Let's bring, we'll do the intro for arts and hearts and bring the artist in. And then we'll talk about some political correctness and her art. So hopefully we will from there. There you go. Yeah. This is 2OF Entertainment.
bring the artist in. You can everybody can welcome the artist. How you doing? Hi, hello. Thank you for having Hi. Me. She's this poor girl doesn't even know what she's getting into now. So no. So ad hoc, the show that you guys came into, a, not like wrong or right, but the show we were just doing is very political, charged, and whatever. And now we're going to do this art show. So this is going to be fun because um, we're still on the wokeness topic. So we can we can show your art and we'll talk about wokeness and whatnot. So tell us about your guest, Emma, and then we'll go from there because it's your guest. And I, Mort and I are just going to sit here and look pretty, I guess. Orian, is, is that right? Yeah, yes, Orian. Orian. Hmm. Yes, I was very pleased uh, to uh, that uh, Orian uh, accepted to do the show because she's a very talented artist and amazing artist. I have the chance to to expose with her. Uh, we are on the same uh, art show uh, four years ago, four years ago, and mm -hmm. uh, I discover art and uh, uh, technique, uh, which is very very original. And uh, I really love uh, what she's doing uh, in her heart. And uh, I really love the person she is because she's uh, amazing. And uh, she she is very talented and she has many ideas. She She's uh, a great person. Oh, thank you, Emma. <laughs> uh, and, 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 we will, and, and that was very sweet. And we will put her link below so everybody can see um her art because are you guys going to show us art today or are we just talking what are we doing today kids we have to see some art it's beautiful art I, i'm looking it up now did anybody did anybody did anybody load the art to show or no it has that as a no. uh, <laughs> so tell us about your art they, and your style David, and, and how you paint so uh, you want you want me to um, to begin with that? Yeah, please, please tell us about how you got started and and what okay. how you paint right. and what inspires you, all that cool stuff. All right. So I'm a, a visual artist. Um, I began with painting. Now I try to uh, to to go larger. Um, I used to be inspired by nature, for, uh, from natural elements. And uh, my purpose is to go deeper with the with the human connection with nature, um, because um, if we look at the society, the modern society here, we it's really um, meaningful that the 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 connection with nature is could be linked with the with the fact that there is a mental health issue. I don't know if uh, it's really clear, but yeah, it's um, either way I want to um, to do things by uh, making art, sharing, and traveling. So to meet people and to to discuss about the, what they think about the the human connection and particularly with nature connection. So this cool. Kind of and, yeah. Well, if you when you go to her website, which the link is below. You'll see all, you'll, see, you'll have a whole bunch of, like you're climbing a mountain. So I thought that was very cool. I was looking at yeah, that. I was yeah. like, that's, that's, so I don't climb mountains. I take a helicopter because uh, too much work. Um, so, so how long have you been painting? And then when you paint, what's your inspiration? Like, like what, are you working on a series now? What's the artwork that you're doing right now? Um, I began at the age of 10, so. Okay. Long time ago, like ten years. Wow! <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, you started. Okay. So. Yeah, and uh, at, at this time, I began uh, with a mentor to uh, teach me how to paint with uh, harmony, with uh, colors, mm -hmm. and uh, already with uh, abstract. So I began with abstract, with uh, with acrylics, with uh, spray painting. Then I, I evaluate um, into mixed media. And uh, for instance, actually, I work with, uh, with putting texture at first, like concrete, uh, which I like mm -hmm. the paradox because I talk about nature. But first, okay. the texture is, uh, is human, uh, human chemical. So it's, <laughs> it's like a paradox, and I like paradox. 
So okay. it's what uh, I do first. I put texture, then um, I make the colors with the acrylic to um, to build the um, the yeah the. Is the structure of the canvas? Yeah, yeah just to, to put the intention. Intention. Okay. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Then I go with the oil painting to go deeper because I, I love I really love the the depth of the of the pigment with oil. It's mm -hmm. really different from acrylic. I, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really my my stuff. Very cool. Very nice. But, and so, but, but, but we, we have we have to talk about your van. Yeah. That's cool, man. man. What is she? What is she? Part of the mystery yeah. machine with Scooby Doo and Shaggy? She's got a van. What are we? It's, uh, it's got not candy the for white, children. It's, it's not oh. the white one. Oh, okay. Then it's okay. Yeah. You don't have to get. Yeah. How do you call it? How do you call your van? Now? His name is uh, Ra Raoul. I know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's really French name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the. Raoul is the um, I, I bought the van on the seventh of July in uh, twenty twenty, and uh, the the seventh uh, July is the Saint Raoul, so it's why I call it Ra Raoul, and um, I bought uh, in uh, August, and then it took me one year, one year and a half to uh, build all inside to paint outside because the the van is blue uh with the wave with movement and um and i took the the road on uh, march 2022 and uh yeah it's, it's, it's now is your van pictures on instagram is all that like the um, on your instagram the story of you in the van uh maybe on the other accounts uh okay yeah yeah that's another, okay uh, because like, I've got, got a van the... account for the children that I give candy to, and then I've got my real <laughs> account for the artwork. Yeah, okay, that, I understand. That, that, that's a white one you have. Yeah, well, that's a white van, right? We don't want to. We don't want to get but, you in trouble with the authorities. But, but, Interpol but, will be there shortly. We, yeah. we we have to we have to stop this program now because I want to see some art. Okay, do I'm you have some to put put up? Do, do do you have something to share? Um, because. Um, our friend who was on the road again should do this. David's got COVID again, so he is knocked out, oh. laid in bed. Yeah. And just and so we will we'll do housekeeping while the fans watch. If you guys put this, like I said, in like a PowerPoint presentation or something, you just hit present yeah. on your screen and you can show all the pictures you want. I have a PDF so. I'm trying to download yeah. here now. That's what I, I was trying to do. Right, yeah. You guys download away. We'll talk to the artist and stuff. So I looked at your yeah. site. So your artwork, from what I can tell, original works go from about 1,900 euro to about 3,000 euro. Is about right? Uh, sorry? Your your artwork, your original work. Originals, not prints or whatever. You know, when you're done with the kids in the van. The original artwork <laughs> goes from like a 1,900 to about 3,000 euro. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, the, um, and they're big, though. I mean, like they're like a meter or two by a meter or two. They're like, they're mm -hmm. huge sizes. Uh, I do work with the large size and uh, right. to go into galleries to sell the, sell them. Also with the uh, loca uh, not location. Uh, uh, you can say it in French. Leasing. That's um, okay. I used to to do a leasing to sell my work also. Okay. Uh, oh. I want to everyone could buy my stuff. So also very nice. Mm. Leasing and uh, yeah. And also, I have the smaller, smaller canvas to. It's more easy to to sell, but also right. uh, with the prints, I do prints. Uh, yep, I saw on that. Paper and uh, on canvas, mm -hmm. and uh, on canvas is interesting because uh, it's the perfect mix with the prints and original because I embellished with the. Cool. the ends, so. there, oh. we ah. there we go. That's her painting the side of her van. The first, that other painting, right? Hold on for a second. This is her painting the side of the van to lure children into the forest. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, um, no, so. This one is, is in the van. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Really? Okay. <laughs> no, no, we are not on on. Uh, we, we are on another program now. Uh, yeah, tree right, tree of program. life. See that. It's, it's, it's tree of life. I love it. 
Mm -hmm. All right, well, here, let's show that then. That's the tree of life. Wow. And like, once again, we'll put we'll put all the links below so you can get to her portfolio and see her pictures and whatnot, or her paintings, I'm sorry. So. Yeah. And in fact, in the first page, the, the tree of life is made on the roadmap. You see uh, the roadmap where you, uh, you put in several parts. So right. it was a link with the, with the van. Ah. Very pretty. Um, I like this one. I saw this one on your page. I thought this was very pretty. Thank yeah. you. This one is, um, is the last one. And uh, indeed, there is a lot of texture on it because um, I put paper in the concrete to make the, the texture. Then uh, I broke the shape with acrylics and uh, finished with oil. And this one is uh, inspired where I live because I don't know if you know the, the Gorge of Verdon. It's, uh, it's a, wait, a place in France really known in the south of okay. France. So I'm inspired, I'm inspired by my nature. And um, I try to work on series with uh, giants because uh, I want to, uh, nature to be like our sister. So okay. if we humanize nature, maybe it could be easier to, to take care of her. So yeah, good luck. Good luck, so good luck with that. <laughs> may, may, maybe it's too too Love late for us, but but it yeah. it's never uh, uh, everything is possible at, well, at least know, in art. The plus in yeah. art, everything is possible on the planet. Yeah, not so much. Um, but uh, it is what it is. So, but this is beautiful. I, like I said, when I was on your site, I noticed this and a few others that were absolutely just gorgeous. So, yeah, um, yeah. Do we have another one, Morton. No, it's uh, Emma who's the. Oh, Emma! Do we... Oh, there, that's pretty. Now, what's this one? Refuse. And this one, there is still the. I tried to to put the end uh, in the mountain to to be like a, a refuge somewhere you you could uh, you can be in safety. So right. I tried to paint ends, but I wa don't want to be too easy to see. So. Okay. Uh, this one, I like. Cool. This one's very. This one's very mystical. I like. Yeah. This one's very cool. What was it's the inspiration? The... What was the inspiration for this? Reaching out from the van to get the kids, or was this another inspiration? <laughs> what was this exactly oh, the inspiration? <laughs> there? I, this one is connected with uh, Raoul. Yes, <laughs> <It's> kind of <laughs> because um, this one I was uh, really upset because when I move a lot with the van, um, I used to listen a lot of podcasts and uh, listen a podcast about the uh, cynicism, uh, the political cynicism about the climate change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So they took about the Earth Summit, and uh, this one is. Um, is the reflection I had with the political ends. She wanted to um, to control the earth, but she's not really powerful. She's just here and useless. And uh, and we have the nature really strange and more powerful. But uh, yeah. in the other hand, the hand is uh, in the same color as the nature to be part of it. Oh. Very interesting. I like that. That one just, it's very powerful. I like that a lot. So incredible. So you're for, it's very good. So you, so you're climate change. So you want, you want everyone to stop. And I mean, this somewhat tongue in cheek in private jets and we're going to have electric cars and we're all going to bicycle everywhere and then that'll save the planet. Hopefully. Uh, it's not uh, just to be, uh, to be more, uh, to be a uh, extreme, but if we are more connected, maybe it's, we can, we can be yeah, yeah more connected even if mm -hmm. our even if we are more connected with nature first right. we are more connected with ourselves and with others so it's part of the of the thing be, be a, it'd be almost like a better steward for the planet like take care of the yeah. planet a little better than we've been taking care of it is kind of what you're you're saying i try to <laughs> okay right. because, i like that because the communication nowadays are much uh you know is, is going down and down and down uh, we, we don't communicate that much with each other because we have all the medias like uh, like this so we we have to get, get back to our roots and and i i, I think i can see uh, what, what what you are 
it's a threatening thing this one mm. it's um and under control i i, I like that do, do you um may, may i have a may i have a question do, do you um usually send, send send your artwork for um uh, someone to evaluate it you know like um um a confident help me uh Emma. like an appraiser um, you're looking for an appraiser That's curator? Or for? Hmm. Um, a curator the curator? curator yeah 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 um i try to uh find the time to do this <laughs> but actually I'm, I'm not for sure for for now it's it's uh it just by now i create uh then I just uh, communicate about the what I do, and later oh. on I will do. I will go to uh, to do someone. Yeah, uh, uh, it's on the it's on the to do list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but you know, if you have five different uh, curators, you will have probably at least three answers. So mm. so um, yeah, okay, but but. Um, <laughs> Could could you tell us a bit more about you know when when you have the van and and you're driving around, you also have uh, courses and, and 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 you talk with um, uh, younger people than than you even yeah yeah um, I can uh, I can have uh, six people in the van to uh, to do uh, workshops uh, ah. so usually I go um, I ask to uh, to structure um, social structure like uh, uh, by uh, not kindergarten but uh, you know somewhere um, yeah. for, for the kids mm -hmm. yeah and uh, right. also for the oldest for the older people ah good good yeah, good it's okay. only for kids because um, the um, the first time I do some workshop was for a woman uh, with the breast cancer um and it was really interesting and um i thought that we have when we are adults we don't you, you we don't have time for us so no kids have time to do painting other people yeah. also but in the middle yeah. is quite difficult so yeah. at, the, at the beginning i wanted for to do workshops for this kind of people the middle mm -hmm. part but it's really difficult in fact because they don't want to spend time so i do the three the kids the oldest people and uh, in the between i try to but it's not easy and uh, no. but i think it's it's really important for them to take time because um, yeah it's the, the main uh, yeah the, the main thing for us i think very really cool. Yeah. To explore the creativity and. I think it's very important, and and we we've been talking about it uh, lately on the programs that people don't learn anything at school these days. Uh, you know, they learn something, but it's uh, they don't learn about history, art, um, about. Um, you know, it it has to have a computer uh, associated with it. If not, they're not interested. Mm. So it's it's very good that you are you're yeah, doing this. You could use your hands, but I was going to say, talk about the hands we just saw, but it went off. So, what was the inspiration for the hands? Yeah, um, I wanted to uh, express uh, human but without the face and uh, for me the ends are really difficult to to do so okay. this is why i wanted to do ends because it's difficult kind of okay <laughs> and also because it's really uh really human uh right. very cool and and sometimes ends can be really um, really moving really touching sensitive and express many things that face can express either and uh, i think it's a, it's a very interesting work to do on ends because it's not easy to to draw and uh, to paint uh, i <laughs> sometimes it's very complicated too 
Well, from being from New York, I will tell you our hands are very expressive and they say lots of things, but that's a whole nother show for a different <laughs> time without, without, without ladies on the show. Um, but yes, our hands, our hands are very expressive in New York. So, yeah. but that's really cool. I like that. So your whole, so really your art that is nature, um, environmental but, and they, like being one with the planet almost. Is that a good way to, to and other than the, you know, the, the van and the kids and the candy. But other than that, is that a good way to is that a good way to look at it? <laughs> uh, it's it's a main purpose uh, for me. Uh, art sharing and traveling is the uh, is the uh, is my just my thing. Oh, my that's very good. Do do you do you visit? Um, um, do you have some some um, me media coverage when you are doing this? You know. Um, um, uh, did you think about that, you know, to, to have the local newspaper or whatever? Uh, to to share or to be inspired by? Yeah, to, no. to, to visit them and, and see what you are, what you are teaching the, uh, uh, the, uh, the old, the older or the younger. Yeah. Um um here is the, the if, because i live in the in the country yard uh in the mountains mm -hmm. so the most effective uh, way to communicate is to to talk yeah. um, <laughs> but uh, when you work in your studio you don't have time to go outside to talk do but, you do uh, it's really the the most important thing because uh in social media is not uh, it's not really effective and uh, in the media uh, because we are in a small village uh, mm -hmm. we are in uh, one hour to nice for example but okay. oh. they don't take your about they don't care about so <laughs> no. it's not uh, it's not really easy to communicate on the on the on the media uh, other than social media or the real life mm -hmm. But when oh, you, you travel it. sometimes in other in other cities, uh, a bigger one, do you have uh, media who, who who are in touch with you? Uh, who who do you contact them to share uh, what you're doing, the the way you you're traveling and do workshop and uh, show your heart and stuff like that? Uh, honestly, I don't. Uh... I don't used to think about all this thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> usually, uh, when I have uh, somewhere to go, uh, I go, and then uh, we'll mm. see. And on when I am in the place, I just oh, I don't, I didn't do this. Oh, I didn't do that. So I'm mm. not really organized. Uh, it's really not a good thing that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you're you you're, like a an, like a you're an ad hoc. You're an ad hoc woman. She should be on the ad hoc show, not even on the art show. But anyway, yeah, 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 she's, yeah, she's yeah. like that's very ad hocish. So it's no, it's, most artists, most that's why most artists have business managers. So well, you're on, if you're on Instagram though, I would assume people follow you before for your artwork. Yeah. So usually in Instagram, uh, it's more easy to sell things. Uh, with yes. Instagram, yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, this will a few people will stumble across this um this this apparently combining of two shows um and see your art and then that will hopefully get some people interested in it and then we'll tag it on our instagram for you and you know um, under we'll, and under control like say, hmm. an op open world and um, under control oh, wow it's, it's it's amazing it's so you, you have been thinking a lot of this or or it's uh natural for you to do it maybe um it's more natural because uh, be before to begin, I spend a lot of time in uh, in place uh, in uh, in nature, uh, mm. in the woods or um, on the top of the the hill. I have uh, really close by here, and uh, just mm. I think about, it and uh, sometimes it just pop in, and I have to do, and. Sometimes not. I uh, just uh, begin the work, and it comes days and days, and then uh, okay, it's here. It's more like we we talk each other with me and the canvas. Sometimes it just very uh, cool. Okay, <laughs> okay. 
Excuse well, me. sure, she's on top of a hill. So, you know, what else is she going to do on top of a hill? You're talking to canvas. So people so people yeah. see her and they stay clear of her. They're like, she's talking to the canvas again. And they're like, oh, don't bother. Ah, yeah. So, <laughs> that, that's I, not poli politically right either, you know. Yeah, well, you know, you you know me and that's not happening. <laughs> so, but no, you're, I, I do like your work. Um, I yeah. think it's very cool. Wonderful, um, wonderful. So now what, are you doing a new series or what's the next um, artwork that's going to be coming out? Um, I try to uh, to go deeper with the giant thing, with the, okay. mm. with the, with the cliffs, uh, right. and also um, uh, when I do a big uh, big artwork like uh, under control or uh, Samson with the hands, um, I begin to do a, a small sculpture in uh, clay with clay, so right. to to go outside the thinking outside the, the box okay and, yeah, um, yeah and for next year we have uh, close to here we have the um, a village with the uh, without uh, uh, ancient houses okay. and, uh, and an ancient um, church and ah. to to go there to um, to create uh, an exhibition here hmm. and um I think it's interesting because you can only do there by walking uh, 20 minutes. And uh, wow. uh, it's for people who are really, uh, really engaged. <laughs> you have to do some art, uh, art parkour to go to this uh, village. So, right. they, they have to really want to see your art if they're going to walk 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. uh, twenty minutes to go at the top of the of the mountain. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's good to be. It's good to be on a mountain. Yeah. yeah. So very nice. I like that. That was very cool. I like the art. The art's gorgeous. So for the people that are yeah, yeah. confused about the show today, um, we will put the link below, and you can catch all her art, and then you can go yeah. from there. So that'll be yeah. very. That'll be very very cool. And then we'll, uh, which McCall will help you guys out with that. And then if anybody wants to get a hold of her and don't, can't figure out how to do it, we will put you in touch with her so you can watch McCall. I, can I, I, I've been in, I've been in HR, so I, I have a like an interview question for you, and and that is, <laughs> what, what what are you most uh, happy about regarding your your art? And number two is, uh, do you want the, um, the buyers and, and the viewers to see the same as you, or may they uh, have different uh, experience? Are, are you guiding them in, in directions? Um, usually, I like when people tell me about the, what they see, and usually <laughs> they talk about one moment in their life connected to the to the artwork and it's really meaningful because um, it's magical when you do something you don't know the other people or the, uh, the the buyer but when the buyer talk about what's uh, what is the the feeling uh, the his own history it's really interesting to see the connection and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty magical, and uh, because we have to uh, to communicate more easily to each other, with each other, <laughs> uh, I think it's it's a good uh, good point to to show it's possible to connect to connect. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and the first, what make me happy, right? Yeah, no. What what <laughs> what what, um, what makes you? Um, uh, What's important with, 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 with art in, in general, let's say say that, in, in, in your eyes? Uh, nature. <laughs> nature. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nature. Yeah, because um, the time I really, I'm really, uh, uh, really, I feel the joy, it's just the pure joy is, uh, is when I'm in front of the of a view and just to be here. Yeah. yeah, it's it's just the most important thing. Yeah. 
her joy is to be on the, her little mountain or hill with her canvas, speaking to her canvas, and her canvas speaks back, which is amazing. So it's, yeah, that's what yeah. she likes. So it's very, it's, but it's very cool. Her art, I, like I said, it's just fascinating when you look at it. It's, uh, I like it yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's, amazing. So it's one it's of amazing. those, it's one of those things that if you're, if you, the little glimpse that we gave you, definitely check out her website. Um, and it's, you know, it's beautiful stuff. So, and she's outside of Nice. So how bad can it be? So, you know. Hey, come in France, go home. <laughs> I, the only reason I know Nice is because when we fly in, we fly into Nice to get to Monte Carlo. So that's the only reason I know Nice. I think that's the only reason anybody. It's the only reason anybody knows Nice. So no, I but, I know. love Nice, Nice, uh, Nice. Yeah, and, I had right, a Nice once, yeah. but uh, I didn't like her that much. <laughs> no, but I like Nice. Nice is a nice, cute little airport. So yeah, very, it's very nice. Interesting, but the the mountains, outside, just uh, on the top of Nice, is better. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. I don't know. Well, I've never in, been. In, in, all I do is go through the mountains to get to Monte Carlo and take the helicopter from the airport. That's all I know. Yeah, so, yeah but in 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 Monte Carlo, you life. can you can ride a car up up the the hills. Yeah, but uh, think, that yeah. that that's not so very natural. Yeah. No. Well, no. well, Monte Carlo is a whole other mentality. I mean, it's, 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 Monte Carlo is only like this big. And, and when you go to the end of the one road, you're turning around in France or Italy and you go to the end of the side, you turn around the other country. I mean, it's, you know, it's a different place. So, and yeah. it's changed over the years. I, it was more quaint and now everybody's there. Not as quaint yeah. as when I used to go, when it was quiet and nice. And now everybody's there. It's like New York City. It's like Glee. I, I, so. I like con, con even better. Con is nice. Yeah. Yeah, because it's more it's more quiet there. It's more uh... well, yeah. There's no tax breaks. Yeah, but there is uh, <laughs> things to do in Cannes. Mm. Uh, yeah, there are there aren't things to do in, in Cannes. Yes, yeah. you have the festival uh, of uh, movie M movies once a year, right. very very famous, the one of the biggest in the world. Yeah. Well, that I know, but what else is there to do other than that festival? Do you like you eat? From? Everybody has good restaurants there. So other than communicate food festival, communicate with people. Communicate with, with people. Yeah. Yeah. Just I'm take, good with that. just take, take, <laughs> on, take contact and and talk about art and life and uh, uh, whole. Hold on. We'll take her van that. and we'll go to Con with her van. It'll be fun. Ah, yeah. <laughs> And I'll buy, that, and I'll bring that, a big bag of candy from the states, and we can just give them to people. <laughs> then I will, I will bring a Michelin, you, you know, a Michelin uh, tire guy, you know, on, they, they tire on, guy? On, 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 on the vans. Very cool. Mi now, are you going to be showing is, anywhere? Is, is French, yes. Yes, Michelin. Sure. Are you going to show anywhere oh, this year? Should, can people, can people come see you? Mm. Uh, where, where do you see me? Where do you well, other than well, here and on Instagram and on your website, are you going to have a show somewhere where people can come see your work? Uh, exhibition. Uh, uh, exhibition. Thank you. Exhibition? Uh, in Paris. Uh, oh, well, very nice. When, when will you be, when are you going to be in Paris? Tell all the fans. Uh, in, uh, in September, in the, okay. the end of September, yeah. <laughs> Let's listen, it, you, it's not the Spanish Inquisition. It's like, you know, it's, no. <laughs> it's you're, you're okay. Yeah. So, in okay, she's yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. September, I think. Yeah. Okay, so September's yeah. five days away. Yeah. So, in September, yeah. like, from when to when and where, so they can see you yeah, and the uh, art. From the uh, 28th of September to the 4th of October, I will be uh, in uh, Mont La Jolie, close to Paris. In uh, okay. in a in a art uh, art show with uh, people under thirty. So I oh. have... <laughs> wait, wait. She had a little smile on her face when she said that I'm going to be an art show with mm. people under thirty. So what she's saying is more you and you and I you and I can't go more apparently because you have to be under thirty to go to the art show. Yeah, but, so you we know can, we can go with, if we go together because it's the difference. Age between See, the difference then, where between us both is thirty. Mm -hmm. Sure, we're, we're, she's like no men, no you can't bring your walkers, no wheelchairs, no only under thirty people that can walk with two legs. 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> so wow, France has really gotten pretty bad. Um, so, all right, so you're you're having a show that's basically prejudiced against people over thirty. I got that, and so um, we're and so the show is for people that are for artists under thirty. How many artists under thirty will be there? Uh, there is a. 60, uh, 60. They're showing me 30. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, and if, um, if I have the print, maybe I will, uh, I will have a show with, uh, at the autumn, uh, uh, autumn salon, uh, uh mm. autumn, you know, Emma? Yeah, it, it, yes, it is called, uh, Salon d'Automne, uh, Autumn Art Show. Is a is one of the biggest uh, event uh, art, artistic event in France. Oh wow! Ooh. The one yeah. is that. It's uh, it, old. I uh, think this year it will be on the Champs Elysees in Paris. Uh, I've heard of that place. Sure, it's a little it's a little road Jean. that goes through the city. I, I think Wait, it's but... there because uh, it changed a lot uh, before it used to be at the. Uh, Grand Palais, but with the Olympic with the Olympic Games, there was on uh, um, they, it it was on work, so uh, they moved to the village, so they are always moving, and now okay. I think it's uh, it is on the on the Champs Elysees as it used to be uh, some years ago. Okay, so when the when will that be? What what month or date or week or when's that? Yeah, it's uh, it's there, and uh, it's for uh, one one uh, weekend. Um, okay. From the okay. twenty three to twenty eight of October. Okay. Okay. Uh, so if you're in if you're in France and you're under thirty, you can go to the one show from the twenty eighth of September to like the third or fourth of October, and then if you're I guess like us near death at some point, you're allowed to go thirty one and over. You can go walk the the sins of whatever it's called, that place where the you know, Hitler drove his truck, um, and then all the artists <laughs> will be there. So there you go. So yeah, I'm just helping the I, Americans I, out that way. I will come. So, I will come, and I will sing. Oh, chance uh, you know? <laughs> Yes. And then then uh, with 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 a mop. With the wow, that's going to be awesome. Well, this is very cool. So you have two shows coming up. So now. And I, so you will be at the 30 under 30 show or are you just going to exhibit your art? Are you uh, going to be there to talk about it? Yeah, no, I will uh, exhibit my work uh, there. And uh, if I have the chance to be, uh, if you have the price to exhibit at the, at the other show. So, okay. And uh, yeah. in, the, in the between, I will, um, I will have some, uh, um, I work with the guide to, uh, in the mountain. To mm -hmm. do three days with people to go outside walking and painting during three days. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, October. So very nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, that is very cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's folks and art. <laughs> Listen, it's exciting to have it. We've had it. We on Canadian Art Today. We had an environmental artist. He's been doing environmental art for over 30 years, so he can't go to your show. But um, so he's been he's been doing environmental art. So it was just interesting to hear his take on why and then to hear your take on why. And even though there's a like he's like a, seriously got to be 90 years old. So even though there's a major age gap, it's the same take and the same reason why. So it's very interesting that the artists that paint environmental art, as if you will, or nature. They all kind of have the same take on what it is and why they do it. So I find that I find that to be uh, fascinating. So, and that you and that you also have the ad hoc genes make you make you a perfect uh, artist. Well, we got to give her a to do list because she's going on tours, not having like she just shows up. So you know, this is like it's a good thing she puts gas or petrol in the van. So I mean, because you know, it's all right. We understand you're an artist. It's okay. So very cool. Well, thank you for showing up and letting us bust your chops a little bit and, and showing your art. Um, and you. it's totally fascinating. And, and Oh, our pleasure. And if you want to come back, please come back. If you like, you're doing your exhibition for 30 under 30 and you want to do a live interview from there, we'll do that. I'm not kidding. Seriously. Um, it can, it can only promote the show and it can only promote the other artists. You can, 
show us the art, which, you know, people like, we'll do that as a live show. So we'll do it live and then we'll just rebroadcast it. So everybody that's in France can go see it if they like. So oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah no worries. It's, okay. you know, it's, it's all good so, for the channel. So, so there you go. So good. So good to having you. And, and it's, um, yeah, both of you, please, please use this, um, use this, uh, program also to, to show others, uh, you know, to, um, radio, TV, whatever. Oh my God! He just wants you to show it for the little kids coming to the van. We'll send you a whole box of candy. Don't worry about it. That'll be your thank you gift for the van. So there you have it. Next time, though, a picture of the van. That's what we want to see: is a picture of the van. Since we busted your chops about it, we need to actually see a picture of the van. Picture of the van by But she forgot to say that she has an Instagram for the van called L'Odyssée de Raoul. Uh, so if you send us the Instagram account for the van, yeah. we will post that below yeah, so yeah, people can yeah, see the yeah, van. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on, I, when I go to your website, your your Instagram and everything is there. So what we'll do is they can go to your website, which we'll post, and then they can see you on the website. Um, but then on your Instagram for the van, we'll do that as a separate. We'll give that as a separate link. We'll just kind of put van and Instagram, and that itself will be scary, and people will have a field day with it. And we'll throw that on our Instagram as well. And that should be, in, that should be interesting. Um, and it'll be fun. And then we'll talk about this course on the cigar show tomorrow. Um, because she said you have to be under 30 to go. And those two guys are definitely under 30. So that's going to just be fun. So oh. this will, this will carry over for a couple of days. Trust me when I tell you. So yeah. she'll get lots of publicity. Good, bad, or indifferent. We, we, so there you go. We have a new topic now for, for a week or two. And that is under 30 shows. Under 30, under 30 shows. Yes. Artist under 30. <laughs> so I have, here's the funny part. I have scotch older than her and scotch older than the under 30 show, you know? So my scotch can't even go in. My scotch can't even go to her show. That's, that's how bad it is. So there you have it. So, my but, dear, but, but, it was a pleasure. Uh, Emma, as always, it's good to see you. Mr. Morton, love you. We'll see everybody next week. And Thanks, guys. good luck. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Good luck on the show. And don't forget, everybody, to subscribe and like. Tell your friends. If you didn't like the show, tell absolutely nobody. We'll see you all later. Cheers. Yeah. Bye.